DC, y'all finna be mad at me. Y'all finna be mad at me for what I say, but y'all gonna be okay, right? When I break it down, you gonna understand, right? Because y'all know I always talk about my heart be breaking because they didn't gentrify my hood, you know? Well, actually, the projects is still there. You know, they just waiting for everybody to die, unfortunately, you know, or, you know, you know how rich people think or kill each other, you know, unfortunately. But anyway, so when I do my little videos and I talk about, you know, where I live at in Atlanta, I had cracked a joke with lovely Mimi and I said, now, lovely Mimi, you know, if you live in one of them areas where, you know, you got to drive like Cascades. Down here in the DMV, Cascades is very, I mean, not DMV, um, Atlanta, the Cascades are very, very funny, right? Once you get up into it, oh, it's a beautiful neighborhood, but nigga getting there, you dealing with some treachery, okay? It's some old treacher, treacherian things going on, okay? It's some old Black Manta shit going on down there, okay? But... It's, it's tricky areas around here in Atlanta, and I, and I see that. And I've said before that I don't understand how you can have a mansion next to a shack. I don't get that. Like, y'all don't have no zoning laws. Y'all don't have none of that down there, but I digress, right? Hold on, y'all. I gotta get this Pepsi together. Hold on. Mmm. Sorry, y'all sorry but um oh look she got her little wig on sweating like a fat rat in the cheese factory but i loved her accent on the inside when i was inside like the little dollar store and god bless the cashier at the dollar store because you know i said oh baby that's mine too she said oh yeah and stuck the shit right in the bag god bless girl girl the cashier i'm not gonna say your name because i don't want you get your your you know your you know i don't want you get fired or nothing like that but God bless you, girl. God bless you. She just was like, oh, yeah, okay. And threw it right in the back. I said, yes, yes, yes. God knows my troubles right now. They know my troubles. But anyway, every time I mention that I live in Lower Buckhead, the little pissy bitch go, I'm from Buckhead, too. And Lower Buckhead ain't that serious. It's It was the hood. It's the hood. Y'all over there paying all that money. For all them high price houses, bitch. You don't know what you're talking about, you dumb bitch. Now, yes, this area has been gentrified. So, therefore, bitch, it was the hood. And what you mad about is that you mad because you can't live here. I'm telling you, people be mad at me when I be clapping back, you know. But nobody say nothing when the little bitches be coming after me on the bullshit, you know. Oh, they not going to monetize this video. Oh, God bless Damn it, they're not going to monetize this. But see, nobody be talking. Nobody be taking up for me and saying, why are you just not happy for a sister? Why you got to hate on a sister? That, you know, everybody always just be like, they talking about what she got again. Why she bragging again? I said absolutely nothing. I was cracking a joke about lovely Mimi. Lovely Mimi, I'm not coming. To, we both down here in Atlanta. I'm not coming to your house if I got to drive through a hood to get there. I'm not accustomed to the hoods down here in Atlanta. Now, back home, yes. Not all the hoods back home, because even on the south side, I get kind of shaky. You know what I'm saying? I get kind of... <laughs> okay? I get kind of boogity boogity boo over that motherfucker, because Candy Man does live on the south side. If y'all don't know that about D.C., oh, Candy Man lives on the south side. Yes, indeed. And he smokes dippers. Okay? Candy man lives on the south side and he smokes dealer, dippers. And he walks up and down Willow Road all day. And what's the other day? What is that long street, y'all, when you come off of MLK? And it be like this long, like off the um, 295 right there. It be this long. Is it Southern Avenue? I think it's Southern Avenue, y'all. Yeah, I think it's Southern Avenue. But it, or South, is it South Capitol? It's an S one. I really think it's Southern Avenue. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, Bitch, you know who you are. Stop hating your booger face troll and leave me alone. I don't know you like that, lady. Why the hell every time I mention lower buckhead, you get in your feelings and you like, oh, that's the hood. No, bitch, it was the hood. And you're mad that you can't live there now. And, you know, I mean, real talk, I'm mad because I can't afford to live in my hood. 
no more evil. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm talking all this shit. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. I'm taking my allergy medicine. Hold on. Oh, my God. Look at that pretty baby. Oh, my God. You be seeing strangers and you just want to run up to them and take their babies, don't you? I know I do. Anyway, y'all, let me see what I'm going to talk about. Let's talk about some... Let's talk about some good stuff. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is that damn Takashi. 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 What was what's his real name? Mario? Something like that? Oh my God. That nigga is snitching on Jesus. You hear me? He is snitching on Jesus right now. I, I don't I don't know what to say. This nigga is snitched on Jim Jones. Cardi B, uh, every blood in the universe. Uh, who that ninja is snitched on? Ever. God damn it! I'm like Joe now, now. And listen, and I told y'all, I said, let me tell you something. I know that record label is making Lord Mario say these things and act this way so they can sell records. I'm telling you, they now Bobby Schmurder. Now I believe that he was old. You know, he was just, he was just. I don't know, Bobby Schmurder. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's some type of task force, y'all. Not I think, but it is. Because it's task force everywhere. It's the neighbor of task force here on YouTube to try to take my bitch ass down. You know? But, Takashi, baby. When I do you not want... I mean, I don't know, Ninja. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, because this bitch about to hit me. So, let me say this, right? Part of the reason why I stopped being a probation officer was because I was... Me and my Judy just looked up one day while we was in court. And we was like... Now, she's still a um, PO, but I'm not. One day we was in court, and we was like, you know what, bitch? We ain't no different from nobody else. I've been new. I always looked at it like I'm no different from nobody else. It's just my job is just to snitch on you motherfuckers, right? And that wasn't good in my core, you know? And it reflected in my behavior as a probation officer because I was the first one to be like, hey, look, I, hey, if you want the warrant, you write the shit. He ain't, oh, he just ain't call me and y'all want me to write a warrant, man. Find something new, man. Find something new. And it was like a, a <clears throat> child. Anyway, I, I turned my life over. I turned my life over and I was trying to do bigger and better things with my life. So... What happened was, okay, y'all, I said, I can't do this shit no more. And and the government was like, I know. <laughs> y'all, forgive me my allergies. But anyway, you know, them, them people in the hood, they take that snitching shit real, real serious. But see, I'm torn because me, I'm not taking no charges for nobody. I'm not doing that. That's where the torn part comes in, you know? But it just seemed like, Takashi, what is you doing? Is you trying to implicate everybody? I mean, niggas you don't even know. Chief Keith, the people that ran with him, all kinds of stuff. It was just like that ninja just out of the blue was like, look, if you ain't talking to me, you don't talk to nobody. It was just like out of the blue, you know? And somebody... I'm even lost for words. I have never seen no fuck shit like this. The only people that snitch this bad is white people. Now, yes, Takashi is non-black. Yes. Okay. Oh. Takashi is non-black. But I have not. The only people that snitch like this is white people in the movies. This is going to go down in history, girl. This is going in the history books. He took down everybody. Oh, look at her. She going to work. He took down everybody, y'all. Shit. I'm surprised my name ain't on there. You know? Hold on, y'all. But then let's get this. Let's get this. I'm sorry. I keep putting y'all on hold. My bad. My bad. Let's do this. Where you gonna come home to, Takashi? You better go back to Mexico. You better go back to that motherfucker where they fighting over orange juice. You better go back there. I'm telling you. Because you can't come back home. And then you're not even thinking about your mother? Bitch. You're not thinking about your daughter. You're not thinking about um 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 
You're not thinking about like your baby mother. What's her name, sir? I like her. She's a sweet girl. She cute. She making the best out of a dollar out of 13 cents. She doing what she need to do. But she, he's not thinking about none of his... That's how selfish he is. That's telling me that he's old slime, cruddy motherfucker in the first place. That he has always been slimy. He has always been cruddy. He has always been a whole nigga in the first friggin' place. You know, his core is slime. You know? I know a couple of motherfuckers like that, but they be getting rid of them niggas. And somehow, somewhere, they always be having like a bullet hole in them somewhere. Ladies, let me tell you something that I learned. I'm all over the place with this. I'm sorry. Let me tell you something that I learned. Every single dude that I know that has gotten shot up has, I'm telling you, they was cruddy. So when you come across a nigga that's been shot up before, you know, don't fuck with him. Because he done done some cruddy shiz along the way and somebody tried to get his ass, pop, pop, fuck his ass up out here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what I know. Now, I'm not saying everybody in the world is that way, but just cut your losses. If the nigga got a bullet hole in him, don't fuck with him. Somebody tried to kill him. He tried to do some dirty stuff along the way. Just leave it right there. Okay? Leave it there. So then let me move on with this one, y'all. If YouTube monetizes this video, y'all... I would be so surprised. You know what? I'm going to put in that warning. Do not listen around children. It is some cussing involved. Right? That's what I'm going to put. So I finally listened to the Hassan Campbell or watched the Hassan Campbell video. I know I'm late. I know this happened around, you know, September, mid-September. I know. But I'm just getting around to it. My wife sent it to me and was like, what you think about this? I said, oh, Lord. That ninja is torn. Hassan Campbell, sir, I don't know you. You old funny-looking New York dude. I don't understand y'all. Why y'all cut y'all faces like that? And I don't, I, still, I don't understand the purpose of a chin strap. Okay? I don't. You be having a full beard and y'all be having them chin straps. That shit is ugly. Don't do it. Right? But um, Hassan Campbell looked torn. I don't know why he put it on camera. I don't. That was the first thing he did wrong. Maybe he was just thinking about the dollars. I don't know. You know, maybe this was something that he wanted to do, protect himself. But what you did, sir, is make yourself look torn. Like, he, you know, we having drinks and everything because the guy was his moderator. He went out with one of his moderators, sat down, had the drink, and the dude turned gay on him. Okay? Next minute, you know... The dude is like, you know, he's drunk. You know, he's drunk. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Oh, this guy is very attractive. Not that I want to get him, but it's just so many attractive gay men around here. They are so tra- I see how you women be getting fooled down here. And you don't know who you... Oh, look at the boo-boo. I see... Oh, look at the boo-boo. Now... Mm -mm. Why you got them baby? He out here begging with his daughters in the sun. What the fuck is wrong with you, sir? God bless. God bless. He ain't got like the 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 shield up so the sun won't beam on her. Child, he's oh my god. God bless. God bless. He probably borrowing his sister's baby. I can't, I can't, I can't when people use children as a tool. I cannot, I cannot with these ninjas. What was I talking about? But anyway, the guy was getting drunk, fumbling all over him, uh, you know, you know, hugging all over him, and Hassan Campbell was pushing him off, pushing him off, and then he was yelling, his I'm a real soldier, I'm a real, and you're not a real soldier. You know why you're not a real soldier? Because the real soldiers don't talk about it. They move in silence, and that's just like old banana bags over there talking about uh, Chicago. I'm from Chicago. Bitch, don't nobody give a fuck about Chicago, bitch. I do. I'm just lying. I'm just saying I don't give a fuck about a Chicago because of her. Maybe I shouldn't even have said that. I probably shouldn't have said that because watch one of her minions run over there and be like, Nay, what happens? Talk about you. I'm just talking about how people be talking about where they be from and that shit don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't mean shit where you from. The, the worst killers be from goddamn Columbine. The worst killer, killers in your middle in your in middle school. Shit. 
I don't know why these people be bragging so much like where they from mad matter. You know all the daggone the mad shootings be out there in Arkansas. Uh uh. Child, I don't know what the hell. This is 15 minutes. So anyway, what do y'all think? Because he kept pushing the guy off. He was yelling the guy phrase, I'm a soldier. And he was like, he came all the way down here from Philly. I'm not going, you know, do nothing to you because your daughter. I know you got a daughter at home. Ba ba ba. I'm not with this f shit. And uh, 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 uh. I mean, I'm surprised that YouTube ain't take that video down. Cause if I say the f word one time, all oh, y'all hussies be running over the flag, flag, flip, 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 flag. And I'm a part of the community. Sure, he said all kinds of, you know. You know, B boys and all. I mean, he said it was terrible. I don't know why that shit wasn't taken down, or maybe it was. I don't know. I looked at it on somebody else's TV. I mean, channel. But all I'm saying is, I'm sorry, Hassan, but you look torn. You really look torn. Like you really uh wanted to take that dude home or to the you know fifty five dollar motel. And, it, and, you know, you was torn, child. You was torn. I'm going to leave that right there and sit it right there for y'all to finish that off and talk about it. The next thing we want to talk about is Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore, cut the shit. Cut the shit. You knew what that man was when you married him. Cut the shit. The same BS that you pulled on Matt when you was like, Matt, can you come see me? Let's talk about being in relationship and rekindling it. You know, Matt ain't never, ever, ever came across a Kenya Moore in his life. You know that he was buying his shirts from, uh, what is that, uh, Burlington Coke Factory and his jeans from Burlington Coke Factory and you just gave him a good Gucci belt to wear on camera. You know this, Kenya. You know this. And you tricked that little boy into thinking that he had a chance with you when he ain't have nothing. You knew he was a hothead. You knew he was going to bring some drama to the friggin' show. So that's why you messed with him. So you tricked his ass. Matt, let's get together. I'm sorry. I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this show. I mean, I want to talk about our relationship. And when Matt got down there, you threw his ass in the trick bag, okay? And he and the cameras was waiting on him. And then he's like, okay, Kenya, let's talk. But while the camera's here, no, Matt, no, I don't want this relationship anymore. You tricked that boy. That's how I knew you was old cruddy broad anyway. Now, you are an Aquarius, and an Aquarius will make it happen at any means necessary. That's why you ladies are the boss. Hence, Oprah. That's why she ain't came out and told uh, about Gail yet. You know? That her and Gail be bumping buses. Now you're pulling the same fuck shit on Mark Daly. Except for Mark Daly is a strong one. He's not playing. He's smart. You know Matt. It's two shakes of a lamb's tail away from a good brain. Y'all knew that. Mark is smart. Mark is a businessman. He saw you for who you was, and he was not going to be your tool on that show. So basically, the problem that they're having is that he's like, no, I'm not messing with you. She getting mad because the plan is not unfolding the way she wanted to. So what she's doing is she's throwing, she's trying to throw him in a trick bag. But what's happening, Mark is like, bitch, you won't get me. You done already got my baby. You done already got my seed. But bitch, you won't get me. Take me to court if you want to, bitch. I'll unleash the dragon on you. Anyway, guys, if you have not already done so, please like and share this video because it is so important to my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 future on here on YouTube, whatever. And if you guys do not have a retirement plan in place, check the links below. There is something there called the Acorn app that I need you to check out. I have a whole uh, a secondary retirement plan through them plus I have a Roth IRA it's that simple guys look into your future give up of that pack of bubble gum and put it towards your future now remember this the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down they say it's my patron love have a good one loves deuce